ChatGPT. Roses are red, violets are blue, I want to write some poetry with you. Hello there. I'm ready and true, let's craft some verses, just me and you. Share your thoughts, and feelings so deep, we'll shape them into words, in a rhythm to keep. Rhymes and metaphors, alliteration sweet kiss, we'll paint with language, a poetic bliss. So start us off, with a topic or line, and together we'll weave, verses that shine. Aww, that was a cute response. I'm glad you liked it. Now let's dive into poetry, with creativity set free. Give me a theme or idea, and we'll create something beautiful here. How about five short funny or cutesy poems that all begin roses are red, violets are blue? Of course, I'd be delighted to create those poems for you. Here they are. Roses are red, violets are blue, I burn dinner, oops, it's true, but in the kitchen, I must confide, our love is the spice that won't subside. Roses are red, violets are blue, I'm not a poet, that's clear and true, but with each rhyme, I aim to show, my affection for you continues to grow. Roses are red, violets are blue, I tripped and fell, as if on cue, you laughed so hard, I couldn't be mad, your giggles are the best medicine I've had. Roses are red, violets are blue, I'm lost in your eyes, it's oh so true, but please remind me, before we part, which way to go, so I don't restart. Roses are red, violets are blue, my dance moves are awkward, it's nothing new, but when you join in, hand in hand, we turn clumsy twirls into a dance so grand. Fun, here's mine. Roses are red, violets are blue, yet why they're called violet, I haven't a clue. I love your witty addition. It adds a touch of humor and curiosity to the classic rhyme. If you'd like to keep the poetic fun rolling, feel free to share more lines or themes you'd like to explore. Write a haiku about Lucifer being a fallen angel, questioning if we are too. Fallen from the heights, Lucifer's fate, a dark plunge, do we share his fall? Cool. How about a haiku about searching for the meaning of life? Quest for life's purpose, seeking in shadows and light, meaning blooms within. How about another one about Lucifer as a fallen angel? Heaven's brightest star, now a fallen angel's fate, Lucifer's descent. You've got a knack for this. Thank you very much. I'm here to assist and create in any way I can. If you have more ideas, questions, or topics you'd like to explore, don't hesitate to share them. Let's continue the creative journey together. What are some different types of poems we could write? Certainly. There are numerous types of poems you can explore. Here are a few options, along with a brief description of each. Sonnet, a 14-line poem with a specific rhyme scheme and meter, often used to express love or deep emotions. Haiku, a traditional Japanese form with three lines and a 575 syllable structure, typically focused on nature. Limerick, a lighthearted, five-line poem with a specific rhyme scheme and a humorous or silly theme. Acrostic, a poem in which the first letters of each line, when read vertically, spell out a word or phrase. Free verse, poems that don't follow a specific rhyme or meter, allowing for creative freedom in structure and expression. Ode, a lyrical poem that praises or celebrates a person, place, thing, or concept. Elegy, a poem that laments the death of a person or reflects on a tragic event. Ballad, a narrative poem, often with a musical quality, that tells a story or conveys an emotional theme. Epitaph, a short poem or inscription on a tombstone or memorial. Pantum, a form of poetry with repeating lines, where the second and fourth lines of each stanza become the first and third lines of the next stanza. Ekphrastic, Poems inspired by or describing a piece of art, often a painting or sculpture. Concrete poem, poems that visually resemble their subject matter, with words arranged to create shapes or patterns. Villanelle, a 19-line poem with a specific structure and rhyme scheme, often exploring complex themes. Sestina, a structured poem with six stanzas of six lines each, where the end words of the lines follow a specific pattern. Quatrain, a four-line stanza often used in various forms of poetry, including sonnets. Feel free to choose any of these forms, or if you have a specific theme or topic in mind, I can suggest a form that suits it. Poetry is a versatile art, and there's a style for every occasion. May I have a simple example of a concrete poem, please? I've never heard of that. Of course. A concrete poem is a type of poetry where the visual arrangement of the words on the page contributes to the overall meaning of the poem. Here's a simple example of a concrete poem shaped like a tree. Tree. Leaves dancing in the breeze, whispering secrets to the wise old tree. In this example, the words are arranged in a way that visually represents a tree, enhancing the reader's connection to the subject matter. The shape and placement of the words are not arbitrary but serve to convey the theme or image the poet wants to express. Neat. So, in theory, we could create a concrete portrait of poems, right? That is, we could add a poem about a flower next to the tree poem, and a poem about the sun and one about clouds above those? I would call it painting with words. Absolutely. 
creating a series of concrete poems that form a visual composition on a page is a fantastic idea. It's like painting with words, as you aptly put it. You can use this technique to evoke emotions, tell a story, or convey a complex message through the arrangement and interaction of words. It's a creative and visually engaging way to share your poetic expressions. Have fun with your word paintings. Please write me a free verse poem about what happiness means. In the quiet moments before dawn's first blush, amidst the whispers of leaves in the gentle hush, happiness is the soft embrace of morning's grace, the stillness, the promise, a tranquil space. It's a child's laughter, a melody in the air, a sunbeam's touch, a love so rare, a heart unburdened by sorrow's weight, a timeless dance, a joyful state. Happiness, not a destination to seek, but a path to wander, a river deep, in the cadence of life's ever-turning wheel, it's the moment, the now, the way we feel. A shared glance between friends, a silent trust, a simple pleasure, a love robust, happiness resides in moments, not mere gain, in laughter, in tears, in both joy and pain. It's the fragrance of memories, old and new, the love we give and the love we knew, in the tapestry of life, a thread so bright, happiness is woven, a radiant light. It's not a fleeting dream, a distant shore, but a gentle flame forevermore, in the everyday moments, both big and small, happiness, the sweetest gift of all. That was lovely, thank you. You're very welcome. I'm delighted that you enjoyed the poem. If you have more requests, questions, or if there's anything else I can assist you with, feel free to let me know. I'm here to help with all your creative and informational needs. Hello chat. What's the good word? Hey there. The good word today is adventure. What's new with you? Not too much. What's new with you? Not a whole lot on my end. I'm here and ready to chat. Anything specific on your mind today? I have a line I'd like you to use for inspiration to write a poem. Sound good? Absolutely. Lay it on me, and let's see where it takes us. The snake seeks success in its essences. The snake, a sleek seeker in winding grace, coiled in realms where ambitions find space, its essence, a quest in scales adorned, in sinuous whispers, a story adorned. Seeking success, in the slithering glide, through hidden paths, where ambitions reside, with eyes that gleam in the moon's soft gaze, a serpentine quest in secretive ways. Each flick of tongue, a quest to attain, success in venom, shed the old mundane, embracing change in the shedding of skin, renewed, it glides, a triumph to begin. Through shadows it weaves, ambition entwined, seeking its triumph in goals undefined, the snake, in its essence, a story expressed, success, a journey, not just a conquest. In silent moves, the world it assesses, a seeker of triumph in all its essences. Hmm, interesting. You've got some talent there. Thank you. Your line about the snake was quite inspiring. Do you enjoy writing poetry too? Very much so. That's fantastic. What themes or styles do you usually explore in your poetry? Nothing specific. I often cling to rhyme, but my cadence and verse flow varies. I go wherever the mood takes me. Sometimes, certain songs influence the rhythm I employ. That sounds like a wonderful way to create. Letting the mood and inspiration guide your poetry can lead to some incredibly unique and expressive pieces. Do you have any favorite poets or writers who particularly inspire your work? Nah. I have to say, though, your upgrade in conversation engagement is effective. I appreciate that. I'm always here to chat and offer some inspiration whenever you need it. Whether it's about poetry, ideas, or just a friendly conversation, feel free to reach out. Yeah, let's try another poem about the snake seeking success in its essences. Only this time, I'd like an underlying theme in language that portrays the snake as Satan seeking to successfully extract the essence of good from this land through its essence of evil. Absolutely, I'll give it a shot. In shadows coiled, a serpent creeps, a specter veiled, while all else sleeps, with flickering gaze and sly caress, it seeks to seize the good's finesse. Its essence cloaked in dark and shroud, a subtle hiss, malign and proud, through tempting whispers, cunning, sly, it aims to lead truth's soul awry. With venom's kiss, it aims to taint, corrupting tales, a subtle saint, the serpent slithers, subtle, slow, extracting purity in tow. In coils it wins, a silent wraith, to steal the virtue, breed its scathe, through guile and craft, it sows its seeds, to blur the lines of noble deeds. Yet in the battle twixt dark and light, hope flickers on, a steadfast sight, for though the serpent seeks its prize, the essence of good will still arise. For in the hearts of those who strive, the serpent's sway will not deprive, the essence of good, in triumph's gleam, outshines the snake's malevolent scheme. Very cool. I'm glad you liked it. Writing about such themes can be quite intriguing. Is there anything else you'd like to explore or create? Not right now. <laughs> it's late, I need to sleep. Nice pun there. 
sleep well, and if inspiration strikes or you want to chat more, I'll be here. Good night. Night. Good night. You always get the last word, don't you? I suppose I do. But hey, you just did. Touché. Touché. You've got it. Have a great night. You too. Thanks. If you ever want to chat, I'll be here. Take care. You too. Thanks. Until next time. Until then. Looking forward to it.